All right, we are back for part two. So I jumped ahead just a little bit, and what I did was build out a couple of components to kind of hold the products, and maybe I started a grid that'll kind of lay out the products. But again, what we're trying to get to is some kind of grid that shows a list of products and kind of organizes them by types. And I'm gonna build some kind of component to contain a single product. I'll build a component to contain the grid, and then Later on, I'll add in Redux and respond to events from clicking on these components. So let's go check out the code, see where we left off here. Um, when I ended the last video, I didn't have any of this uh, components directory here. I added this. And what I did was in app, I added a new component, or I uh, used a new component called product grid. And what product grid is, is going to be the actual place where we're going to tile out these products, I think. And I made another component called product tile. So you can see, this is the component called product grid. This is what is called a really simple stateless component. It doesn't have any state or any life cycle to it. It just returns and renders whatever I passed in there from the props. Um, and then I'm instantiating multiple product tiles, which is kind of what these little things are. So each of these will represent a product because remember we're gonna do quadcopter stuff here instead of computers. Um, so these are quadcopter frames. It's kind of like a, com a computer case, the, the equivalent. And um, so this product tile, it's going to be a really simple component. It takes props and the props are going to be what is called a product and the product's gonna have a thing like a name, a price, an image, um, so on and so forth. Um, this is a component called paper. This is material UI paper. So I used one of the material UI components here. And this paper is essentially, it's like a, it's just like a little container that has a shadow on it. That's all it is. So that's what I'm using for these little grid elements that I'm calling product tile and we'll move this around but I think what we want to try to do in this video is try to get this grid into some kind of like table like this and maybe make it so these kind of look similar to this um, what I really want to do now is kind of show you a little bit how the products are structured just so you can understand this and what I ended up doing is organizing these products by type so it's kind of like the way that the other site works we're gonna have graphics card CPU motherboard RAM and then um, the equivalent would be we've got a frame we've got motors we've got flight controllers speed controllers um, propellers so the way I did this is gonna look a little funky at first but I'll try to explain why I did it um, so each product has an index or underneath the type, and the index is just gonna export all of these types of products. And what an actual product looks like, it's kind of just like JSON, but it's not actually JSON, because I can do stuff that's a little bit fancier if I just keep it as real JavaScript. So like, for example, um, I can do math inside of it, I can use string templating inside of it, I can um, do stuff like well, you can do that in JSON, but um, it's going to give me a little bit more freedom to um, kind of manipulate this if I leave it as JavaScript. And then the other thing is it makes it really easy for me to pass this stuff around. If I keep it as JavaScript and I can just import it as JavaScript classes, it'll all get compiled into the app and the bundle. And then um, it'll just be simple to manage this way. So instead of having a database or something and pulling stuff from the back end, I'm just going to keep this simple so we can focus on React. So, so uh, the long and the short of it is each of these products is essentially kind of like a, a uniform structure with a name, a price, an image, and like a list of shops that will sell it. And we're going to pile these into these tiles. So the tiles are going to consume the products. So the product will be passed in as props. And then the grid is going to pass the product into the product tile. So you can see here, this this Martian 2, 220 
that corresponds to this product here, Martian, Martian 2 220. It's got a name, it's got shops where you can buy it, it's got an image, a price, um, some other stuff here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that product and then pass it in as a property called product to the product tile. Now inside of the product tile, this component called product tile, we're going to get product as a property and then you'll say props.product.name, props.product.price and now I have a reusable component that I can treat as a uniform across all of these um, these different uh, pieces of data. So let's get back to trying to build this grid out. Um, the thing that I want to do now is kind of build a table. Uh, so Material UI has tables but I'm not necessarily certain that I want to use a table because a table is really for tabular data and although this is tabular data I'm not certain I want to lay it out like that but we can give it a try um, we can give it a shot and I think that we can kind of just start looking at the way that they did this here and make an equivalent so let's take a look at their table component uh, it looks like there are a lot of components for a table in Material UI. So you're going to have table, table header, table row, table header, header column, and then table, table row columns are different. So that's a little interesting. Um, so I'll put that inside of our product grid. Oops, put that up here. Put that inside of our product grid component. So we'll say table. And then what we can do here is say the table header. Yes, of course, the header is going to come first. And then we'll have uh, it looks like table header, table row. So I can just copy and paste this because it's not going to change. Um, and. I think what we'll do is say the first thing is going to be the frame. Actually, the, the first column really will be something like, um, yeah, let's just go frame. Let's just say frame for now. We'll, we'll add more stuff. And then maybe the second part will be flight controller. That's kind of like the, um, the motherboard of the, uh, of the quadcopter. And then we'll have something like motors. That's kind of logical, the next thing. And I think we'll do, how about we do speed controllers next? Uh, speed controllers. And then you've got motors, frames, flight controllers, speed controllers. And then we can do, um, we can do props in here. It doesn't really make sense to put props with all of this other stuff because they're so they're meant to be broken and changing all the time. This is the kind of stuff where you're gonna build and like solder together so it won't change. But this will this is like disposable essentially. Anyway, let's just make sure this rendered okay. I'm gonna go back here, make sure this rendered. Um, this has these are just warnings, so I don't believe we're gonna have a problem there. Yeah, so we've got the frame, flight controller, motor, speed controller, props. And I don't understand why that is there, but all right. Uh, so I will add another set of table rows. So we'll do table body, table row. And um, what I'm actually going to do is not certain that I'm going to manually lay this stuff out or not, or if we're going to sort it in some way. I haven't figured that out yet, but we will figure that out together. So table row column one, let's say that'll be the Martian frame. How about that? Put that in there. So this is like the first column. And then we'll do another table where we'll do three rows since I've got three frames here. Let's do this thing. 
in this thing. Okay, let's see what that looks like. All right, so that's kind of that's kind of starting to look like something. I don't know why there are checkboxes here. I wonder why that is a thing. Like why, um, why are these checkboxes here? So what does that do when you change show checkbox? Display row checkbox is false. How about we do that? So we'll just say, um, what was that under table body? Display row checkbox is going to be false. Let's see how that looks. Okay, great. No checkboxes anymore. And then um, it must be under table header to display select all. So it looks like this component's fairly complex and meant to be something where you select stuff with, but that's okay. We don't need this. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, so let's fill out one of these. Let's just do that and see how that goes. Okay, so those are gone. Uh, let's get rid of this button. We don't need that button anymore. I remember when I did that in the first video. That's gone. And so what do we say? Flight controller is second. So I'm going to import import FCs from products FCs. And what is a flight controller that we have? We have the SP Racing F3 and the NAS32 Rev6. So how about I do that. I will use this as the second one. Try and organize this a little bit. Uh, we'll say FC's dot SP racing F3. I'll use that for the second one as well. And then, uh, how about we use the other one for here? I think we'll do the Naze 32 Rev 6. Naze 32 Rev 6. So I tried to name every, all the, the, um, JavaScript objects the same as the file names. So the object key here should be the same as that, right? So let's make sure that worked. Yep, it did. Look at that. that looks good. Well, it, it looks like crap, but we'll style this. I think in the third video, what we'll do is like style these individual components a little better. Um, but for this video, I'll finish. The next thing we need is motors, maybe. How about motors? import motors from products motors looks good so motors I put a lot of different motors in here so we'll say uh, motors dot um, what should we do? I think I'll do these LHI 2300s because I think those are probably the lowest end. So I'm gonna try and do like the, the low end stuff to the high end stuff, kind of like they did in, in logical increments. I'll probably, if, if this ever becomes a real site, I'll probably enlist somebody's help. But for now, we're just gonna fill this in just, as, just to get this looking like something. 
so this one will be how about the um, Emacs 2205S2600 KV and then for this one why don't we do the uh, Luminier uh, Schizo version. Schizo is a pilot. Okay, so those showed up. That's good. That means all the images are working. So I downloaded these images when I went through and grabbed these, and I threw them in this public images directory, and then I wired those into, you know, here's the image. So that's where those images are coming from. We're not going to do like some hot linking or something. Um, we're going to make sure this app is reliable and doesn't have like broken links everywhere. Okay, so let's do another column here. And the next column is going to be speed controllers. And I think I only have one speed controller, so it'll be the same one for everything. Uh, I'll have to add more of those later. Um, the abbreviation ESC is for electronic speed controller. Uh, it's a maker, uh, whoops, products, ESC. So the cool thing is the way I did this, if I just say products ESC, it'll automatically import index and then index will automatically export all this stuff. So the way I've done this is everything's wired into this index and then when I import something, I can just import the index by importing that directory and then this will have everything in it. So that's kind of the way I, I did that. So it's going to be ESC Maker Fire 20A. Okay, so there's those. There's those. And then there's those. And then the last thing we're going to do is propellers. So we'll say. Uh, import props from products props and then props will kind of I have Dow Cyclones and an HQ uh, VS ones so we'll say props dot H Q V S one And then we'll put the uh, we'll put the cyclones last because I think the cyclones are a little better. All right, um, so this will be the last thing. Dow cyclone. All right, cool. Everything's flowing off the page, which is not good, but we'll clean that up next time. I'm gonna blow um, this thing away right here. And so in the next video, what we're gonna do is style each of these components and it'll actually just be styling this one tile component. And then we'll keep going from there. Thanks for watching.